Well, this is winter here in uh, Central Texas, East Central Texas, and my aloe froze there. Some feathers are taking some considerable damage. Of course, we got icicles hanging off the car. So, you know, that's bad. There's my aloes. Look at that. Whoa. This was a Sedano. You can see all the, the uh, icicles coming down. Another aloe. Hello. Hello. Here is a very old sun feather that is very damaged. There's another. <coughs> and uh, <laughs> there's some more. <laughs> and that one is doing very poorly. And then some idiots playing music over there. And here we have, check it out. We have another little uh, maguey, actually, that survived. Look at this guy here. Now, this San Pedro is pretty damn impressive. It's as tall as I am, or more. And it's got ice at its base here. But it has survived. And so has this one. This is actually the mother of a lot of my San Pedros right here. As you can see, she's got ice on her and freaking icicles. Look at that. It's terrible. There's a baby my gay. I had to move. Transplanting right now is not, of course, a good, viable option at all. <laughs> and so, anyway, so. Some feathers are looking pretty grim. Some feathers. Here by the chickens. It's doing okay, but still has suffered some damage from the cold. What's up, chickens? <laughs> So we got that. This guy's doing great. There's a muggy. Oh, I come to my front yard. Of course, I lost a little ton of plants. But this is really just about my succulents. Look at my poor aldos. San Pedro. This San Pedro is doing pretty bad. I don't know if it's going to make it. This one, too. Very bad. My guardians are all damaged. This one here, here's my gay. My gay's really seem to do very well. This one. And look at my San Pedro leaning over like that. That's a beauty, too. And this one's damaged. My gay is doing a not too great. This is my mama, Aloe. She's doing horrible. There's San Pedro. Okay. She's doing good. San Pedro that's bent over again here. Look at this. Another sun bather that was damaged. Look at that top. Oof. Very bad. This used to be a nice chimipaquin. Chimipaquin, whichever you prefer. It is <laughs> dead. Along with my lime tree. It's dead. The lemon tree is doing pretty good. But overall, this has been a pretty damn bad winter. Now these have been casualties so far. Look at this. These are doing pretty bad. I mean, this one looks like it may be alive, but look at this damage. Look at this black damage on it. It's all spongy. I have a whole pile of them in here. So that's where I'm at with that. And I went ahead and brought one in from the original mother. And I'm hoping that she'll be okay. And in the meanwhile, i got to figure out what exactly to do with all this. It's I really hate to just let them rot away. It's a lot of some favor. A lot of some favor catches in here. As you can see. So the winter has taken a serious toll on my cactuses. <laughs> very sad. Very, 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 very sad. Winter is not a good time. Not a good time at all. So anyways, I just thought I'd bring everybody up to speed on where I am with my San Pedro's. And, uh, I hope everybody else is having a better time with the winter than I am. But, um, you know, what can you do, right? That's the way the cycles of life work. And without winter, we wouldn't have spring or summer. Bye. Bye.